Good morning. So today I am 32 weeks plus one and we are going back for a growth scan since last time there was the whole placenta issue. Uh, I haven't had to post this. I think it was just a tag along to this part. So here's the placenta story. I woke up this morning thinking that I'm 29 weeks pregnant but apparently I'm 30 weeks along and I had a follow-up growth ultrasound slash placenta scan because um there was just like a whole thing about them being worried about my placenta and because I had this particular hormone level that's higher uh since early on in the pregnancy and it wasn't a chromosome issue it I don't have gestational diabetes I'm borderline though but uh anyways long story short um we had our growth scan today and it was less than ideal Apparently the baby's really, really, really small. Not smaller than the like fifth percentile, but the baby's like right around the eighth percentile, so it's a bit worrisome because under ten. With that being said, in two weeks I have to get another scan done to see if there's growth. Now, about a week and a half, two weeks, yeah, about a week and a half ago, I was really, really sick. I was at uh, Ginevra's birthday weekend right before I got like this really bad stomach virus. So I thought I wasn't gaining weight because a combination of the fact that I had this stomach virus that I couldn't keep anything in. Um, and also because I was borderline diabetic, I cut out pretty much the majority of refined carbs so white rice potatoes all that I would just have like maybe a tablespoon and a half with a meal and then everything else was just like protein and vegetables or like whole grain whole oats so I thought that was contributory as well um because the baby was moving fine like the baby's still moving fine kick 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 very 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 active little monkey but apparently the baby's small so my OB said that everything seems proportionate which is good. And the other thing which is weird was the last time I went, my uterus was measuring two weeks ahead of schedule, which means that in my mind, the baby should be big, right? No? Even today, my uterus is still measuring two weeks ahead of schedule. He says that I have a big uterus or a big belly, and he's not meaning it in a, in a bad way at all, of course. He doesn't understand why they will write that I'm measuring in the eighth percentile when I'm averaging at 29 weeks and I should be 30 weeks. So 50% is average, and if I'm measuring at, if I'm averaging at 29 weeks when I'm 30 weeks along, that he says I should be right around 40 weeks and not eight. So that's why he is requesting for another scan to be done in two weeks time to see what the growth is. So I'm on my way down to the ultrasound center. I'm going to meet Nelson there. And then afterwards, hopefully, hopefully, oh my God, hopefully we're going to get the good news that the baby is growing and no longer super duper crazy small and that I can keep continuing with this pregnancy until I am full term because 32 weeks I feel is just a bit early. Plus I'm not ready yet. The bassinet's still not set up. Um, I haven't finished washing all the baby's clothes. We don't have a coming home outfit and uh, I'm just fingers crossed that I don't need to give birth like this week. Yeah, because on Tuesday I still need to go to Brockville for grandma's funeral, so yeah. So what do you think, Daddy? No, what do you think of his little face? Oh. <laughs> my poor boy, he has my nose. It really looks like he has it's my nostrils. Miserable. Pardon? And he was, he looked like he was pouting. He's a grumpy old man. <laughs> he looks like a grumpy old man. Legit, he looks like a grumpy old man. He was like, hmm. It was so cute. And he has chubby cheeks. His cheeks are so chub chubs. Oh my gosh. And he said his, his arms are down here, his head's here, his spine is just left in my belly button. Yeah, his feet are all the way up here and his his head's down, which is great. But oh my gosh, he's so cute. He, he's such a grumpy old man. <laughs> and he had hiccups. He had little hiccups during it. He's so cute. Alright, now we're going to see Dr. Chen and we found out if the baby has grown. He looks so chubby, I don't understand. How he could be so tiny. But he looks so chubs, like his cheeks are like so cute. Alright, let's go. 
Hey guys, okay, so it's a few days later. I actually forgot that I didn't finish vlogging about the what the OB said at our 32 week scan um, because I was pretty upset. So what happened was that um, the baby is really small and what's happening is that he went at 30 weeks, no, yeah, 30 weeks, he went from 8th percentile and now he's down to 4th percentile. It doesn't mean that he shrunk or anything, it just means that he didn't grow as fast as compared to the other babies and he already started out small. So the my OB did say previously that if he goes below five, they have to be concerned and now he's at four. So he's concerned. So now I am going to be getting weekly scans done to like just growth scans just to see if there's any progression as well as they check the Doppler for his blood flow, I think into his brain and somewhere else. I don't quite remember. I like it was right now, the good thing is the saving grace is that everything else is measuring 100%. Like my OB said, everything else is measuring perfectly, which makes him happy. But he's not happy with the fact that he's so tiny. And when I walked in, he had like this really grim look on his face. And at first I thought he was just, you know, like joking with me, but he's not. And it's not that I haven't gained weight. I actually, I put on, he said, more than double what I should have put on during that time frame because I have done nothing but eat, 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 eat. And I've been taking like protein shakes and everything and I don't know. So now I'm taking protein shakes onshore, eating more um, animal-based protein, less carbs. Like I'm eating more carbs than I did when I, when they thought I had gestational diabetes, but I'm eating less carbs so that it doesn't take up space for the protein. <sighs> And I'm trying to eat more fiber. But yeah, I I need to decrease my stress level. I need to like wusa and not stress as much. I need to stay happy, which is gonna be hard because you know, um I have like a big family event coming up that's um it, yeah, it's gonna be my it's my grandma's it's my grandma's celebration of life, we'll call it that, uh this coming week. So I know that's coming week. It's also going to be quite emotional basically i have to de-stress i have to rest more i have to get enough sleep i don't sleep enough and i have to just keep eating keep eating he said just eat absolutely anything so that hopefully something will go into the baby like something will be passed through the placenta because i do believe it's like the placenta my placenta issue although the placenta looks healthy it's just je ne sais pas so yeah, that's my update. I'm going to probably I'll update you guys again next week after that scan. And uh, fingers crossed because he did say that if the baby stops growing, then he's really concerned. Um, or if any of the other levels drop, then he's also concerned. I think I read on the chart that <laughs> my little Nato is only like 2.3 pounds right now which is so tiny. I think the average fetus or average, you know, baby in utero right now at 32 weeks should be right around like 3.4, I think I read somewhere. But he also did say that Nelson's, like both Nelson and I are relatively short in stature, so the baby has short legs, which is fine. And so he, he made a joke. And this is why another reason why I like the, this OB is because he does try to lighten the atmosphere like he, he he's very honest with me about things but he tries to like help me just wusa a little bit because i get really stressed out um he did say well we know for sure who the baby daddy is <laughs> it looked at nelson so please send him growing thoughts guys send him lots of growing thoughts fingers crossed and i'm going to go have more food now i'll keep you guys updated so Thanks so much for joining me on this video today. If you want to see what us Yixers are up to, make sure you do subscribe to this Yixers channel. I love you guys. Bye.